Okay, I've got the Hitachi 1565 here. I'm just uh, trying some more functions, and I figured out what this A horizontal mode AB means. Uh, essentially, what it does is it allows you to display um, two different types of information uh, at the same time on your wave. So, for example, let's say we're choosing. I'm right now. I'm just referencing the 0.5 volt, one kilohertz reference. And if you go to channel 1 here, you'll see that's what I'm set on. I'll do A mode. A mode essentially just shows you the actual um, wave. And you can see there, I've got, you know, I can set it to be different, uh, you know, my voltage uh, gain there. And if I want to just look at the amplitude here, I can uh, slide that up. And you can see I'm pretty much 0.5, you can see there that's 0.5 okay and now let's uh, let me just turn that down okay bring my cursor down okay each division division now is 0.5 okay now let's say I wanted to show and, and you'll notice a says one millisecond so each horizontal spacing is one millisecond I can change that I can make it 0.5 I can make it 0.2 and you can see the time change. Let's say I make it 0.5 and I now press B. B is another time division and I can essentially set that independently and I can actually view both by hitting Alt. It's showing me now both time divisions and uh, you'll notice now that what this delay does is essentially slides over as you can see the whatever is displayed between two vertical dashed lines is actually showing above. So here, let me uh, start there. I'm, there's a way to, to change the separation, so I can change my position of the wave, and I can just do that. And now have a look. If I say um, I make my delay there, you'll notice that at the bottom there, this wave starts right at that line, that, that high, well, that's what you're seeing here. And then the low is there. And then that high is there. So essentially, in the, the B mode, it's showing me a zoomed-in version of the at the 0.1 millisecond per division, whereas A is this display here showing me 0.5, and B is this display here showing me 0.1, and I can choose my delay, which essentially just shifts this over further and further. So it's a way of zooming in on a portion of your wave and as I keep sliding this over you'll notice how it nicely lines up see this line shows the high that's where my high starts and so on you can see everything there and I can you know, independently alter my B channel here so I can really zoom in at the same time on my waveform now the nice thing is is also that not only can I have that and have them close together but I can also have on my other channel if I choose dual, I have now set up channel 2 with exactly the same thing. So there's channel 1, which is a bit hard to see, but um, you know what, I'll, I'll do something here to make it a little easier. Um, make my voltage a little different. Okay, and actually, you know what, I can oh, do that. might make it easier. So it gets a little difficult. Okay, so those are the two channels. You'll notice channel 1 is here, and that moves on independently, and channel 2 is here. And I can do exactly the same thing. If I go in and alter my B, I can now slide over. Now, it happens to show the same information right now, So um, because it's all running off of the point... 5 volt, 1 kilohertz reference, so it's exactly the same thing. But imagine if I had several waves here, I could adjust and view different things at the same time. So anyway, this is uh, you know, a nice feature of the scope, again, something that I didn't anticipate, but it's got a lot of power behind it. Um, I'm just starting to understand a bit more about how this horizontal mode works, and how exactly all of the vertical functions work, and you know, I'm still working on figuring out the source or X. So sometimes I can switch 
for x y mode you know what if i want to invert my x and y and make channel 1x and channel 2y or flip them around it's easy to do that with this button um, but anyways that's uh, just another nice example of how to use the a and b options for horizontal and allow and how you can actually zoom in and focus on various aspects of the waveform thank you